Hi Steve. Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. We interrupt this program to give you a... It's uh, currently Thursday morning, early. And it's uh, middle of April? What is today? I know it's Thursday, but I never know dates. It's the 16th of April. And it's freezing outside. See all the frosty areas in the grass. Kind of crazy. Isn't this supposed to be like spring? So a big shout out to Flight giving me his settings for his GoPro Hero 8. Try to see if we can do a little bit better in the low light situations. Everything's going okay. Just getting a very slow start to this morning. But while on the subject of pants, my daughter got me these for Father's Day some time ago. I know, I've been terrible at doing uploads and updates just across the board. I apologize. I've just been very busy and when I get done with work, I just don't want to touch technology. I mean, I look at my cell phone like with Instagram. Um, I haven't been on Facebook really hardly at all. And uh, YouTube, I watch videos and that's... Uh, about it. As you can see, I kind of need a haircut a little bit. That's uh, part of the shelter in place kind of thing. Although I have begged my barber to go over to his house and let me sit in his like carport. I said, you know, you could just set up a chair over underneath that thing and I I'll be good. I'll be good. Cut my hair. It's kind of interesting when you're on a Teams meeting uh, for work and people are not used to seeing you. Uh, usually when I have my hair done during the uh, work week, I usually use a pomade and it usually gives it a much more perfect look and uh, I just haven't been able to, I just don't want to do that. I'm shaving on a daily basis, uh, showering on a daily basis, keeping up my routine, keeping up with work and all of my lengthy meetings and I, I swear if it weren't for me working uh, and having a set routine, I probably w would have a hard time remembering what day it is. But um. I know, buddy. You want to go outside, don't you? Yes. Okay. We'll take you outside. Give me love! Well, it is nice and warm in the house. I just love these things. So if you've got a dog that is getting cold, they make like horses blankets for dogs. I get this uh, at a local place. I think it's um, locally made. Anyways, and it's so easy to get on and get off for her, you know? So. Now that was a video bomb. She can't have attention. No attention for her. With all this going on, uh, I don't have the convenience of being able to set up at my desk at work with both monitors plus a third monitor plus a second computer running. I actually have two computers running on a daily basis plus an iPad. And um, I just don't get that here. So what I am going to do is show you some of my equipment that I use uh, for work. So this is a company issued laptop. I actually went in about a week or so ago uh, into uptown to grab this just because the technology I have here at the house wasn't quite cutting it. It's a big developer's model Dell. I'm not much of a Dell fan to be honest with you but that's just my opinion. And on top of that what people don't usually get to see ever is my bedroom. Don't mind all the dog hair. Haven't cleaned it a little bit. Um, uh, so I have a Microsoft Surface that I use. I also have a Google uh, Pixel Slate, which is a Chromebook, like a tablet Chromebook. And then my work iPad. So picture me with at least three different devices running. My work computer, which is using a VPN to get into work over a Citrix client. Terrible. Uh, and I have my Surface, Microsoft Surface that I'm using that also looks into a virtual desktop in Uptown Charlotte. And then I use my iPad for, well, like Teams and stuff. It just runs pretty good there. They huddle on the bed like it's cold in here. I don't ever say I never took you into my bedroom. Oh, you're so funny. And I have to do an apology to Chad Murphy. Uh, I did not mean to say that it was just us Black eye guys, you know, the guys with no ass at all syndrome uh, that have the problem with their ass and not looking good in jeans because it really applies to everybody, including those huskier guys too.
So, you know. Everybody can look like they have a load in their pants if they don't know how to buy and look for the right fit when it comes to pants. Which, by the way, I have two pairs of jeans on the way today. Yes, that is what is outside of that door. It's my uh, family room. Everybody remembers this uh, viral TP picture. I asked a lot of people, was I in danger for having my TP a little too close to the windows? But yes, I do have the security camera, D-Man. I think I got my butthole covered still. Okay, wait, wait. I mean, look how much frost is on the top of the truck. Kind of crazy for April here in the Carolinas. Another way I remember that uh, what day of the week it is is that my garbage is also picked up on Wednesdays. I have to have it out by eight o'clock. So I've got reminders on my calendar that pop up throughout the week just, well, to remind me to do certain tasks. So that's helpful. This vlog is going straight into the garbage, I tell you. Not right, Steve. I said, isn't that right? Yeah, you, you're always so happy. Yeah. So here's today's setup. So this is my Microsoft Surface with my company iPad. And I use the Surface to actually remote into a computer that's over at work. Uh, and um, I use the iPad for a lot of the video stuff. So for some odd reason, Citrix and my company have not quite figured out video chat over uh, a virtual desktop. Um, so to do that, I use the iPad. Unfortunately, I can't use any of the backgrounds. They haven't made that available in the iPads. And no, I don't want to make myself look like a potato. Another thing that I typically do to keep my routine going is I try not to stay dressed like this. I mean, that really doesn't make me feel like I'm on task to do what I need to do. I mean, forget about the hair. I can throw a hat on. I'm notorious for wearing baseball hats. Uh, just if you ever meet me personally, um, when I'm out and about, I typically never have this like that. Put on some clothes, get into a routine, and get your day started. That's the way I try to do my work from home life. So let's talk about wardrobe for a minute. Uh, I keep my jeans and my t-shirts underneath the bed. This is a Ikea bed, if you guys have never seen one of these before. So t-shirts, um, old movies, I think, not that we even have, probably a... DVD player anymore. Uh, hats and junk. I mean, just all my pants and shorts and crap like that. And then I've got underwears, unmentionables, and some dog stuff, undershirts and whatnot. If you're kind of wondering what I wear typically to work every day, go check out that 360 video. I think I called it uh, a COVID-19 ghost town. Uh, that's pretty on par for what I wear on a daily basis, but I'll show you um, the inside of my filthy closet. Show me your closet! So, not entirely organized, but I've got all my slacks, my shirts, and you can kind of get a general feel of what I wear on a regular basis. A lot of polo, a lot of plaid, a little bit of stripes. I don't wear solids too often. Got my company shirt. Uh, I've got some of these shirts that are uh, un called Untuck It. They're not designed to be tucked into a pair of pants. Those are kind of nice. I got introduced to those down in Charleston. And then in my hall closet, Paige and I kind of share this space too, is uh, winter gear, uh, fleece. This is a new brand that I started getting into. It's called uh, Fall Robin. I think means winter fox for I think in Sweden Swedish and then I have all of my sweaters it's you can definitely tell that it's um, 
we're almost at the end. I haven't restacked really anything, uh, but I get that all taken care of before the uh, end of the year. You even have my leather jacket. This leather jacket actually has a lot of uh, significance to me. So this uh, leather jacket was a hand-me-down. So my uncle owned this jacket. It's got a really nice um, lining on the inside of it. It's made by Columbia. And uh, he passed away and um, my aunt gave me his jacket, which has got a lot of significance to it. I actually own two leather jackets, but I don't wear the second one that terribly often. A couple of pea coats. I've got a quilted jacket. I'm not even sure that I fit into that. And I've gotten kind of fat. And uh, I own probably one, two, probably three different work jackets that have got the company logo on them. Some lightweight stuff, some fleece line stuff. I got a, I got a pretty good assortment of stuff. Now I feel a little bit more human. I'm just working around the house, so I usually wear moccasins when I'm just loafing around. Yeah, I gained a little weight. I'm pretty small, but anyways, I had to go out and play some of my jeans. Just when you think you haven't seen everything, I give you this. Do you remember the saga of my next door neighbor and the rooster? That yeah, so now they have a dog and it's just as bad as the chickens. And now I'm gonna go and pick up my daughter and um, we're gonna go get some survival, survival cinnabon. So I'm uh, in here in my shave den and as you can see, I've uh, somewhat built a, quite a collection of fragrances as well, it's not just shaving. And I uh, happened to land on um, one for today, it's by Duke Canaan. You can get this at Target and other places. And it's Prescott. That smells good. So even though we're all stuck, in our places. Um, I've definitely been trying to run the truck at least once a week, uh, doing nominal things. I mean, it's okay for us to go out as long as we got distance in between us, I guess. And um, yeah, just take the opportunity to keep your vehicle running. Uh, the oil needs to move through the engine in order for it to stay good. So don't uh, neglect your vehicles, even if you just pull them out of the garage and let them sit there for a few minutes. Let all the, the good fluids and stuff keep running through your engine. It's really important actually for good mechanics of a vehicle. So the daughter moved away, uh, I would say like three years ago. So if you guys have been watching um, my vlog for a while, you guys know that uh, my daughter is now 21, uh, even though she thinks she's like 30 or so. Anyways, and uh, she moved out, uh, moved up into uh, the Charlotte area. We're in a completely different county here, and has since moved back, so she's only like four or five minutes away. She's rented a house, and she has a huge Great Pyrenees. Uh, this dog is literally like nine or 10 months old, and he already weighs 90 pounds. These dogs get huge. I can't believe it. So something, I don't know if you guys have this uh, on your TVs, but we've got this uh, show. The show is called Shark Tank, where people bring ideas to a bunch of people with a lot of money. I don't even know these people. And um, we um, going to a place that opened up because of Shark Tank. It's called Cineholic. 
So you guys know my love of Cinnabons, cinnamon buns. Uh, if you ever watch me go up to Ikea, I'm always grabbing a pack of them. I just, just oh, I drool. Here comes Diabetes for sure. And um, so they opened up this whole chain. It's pretty small. They're up in Canada. They're here in the States. We actually have one here. And they make what's called, it's like gourmet cinnamon buns. And they are just unbelievable. If I don't die from a heart attack, uh, from my coffee drinking, uh, I'm gonna definitely probably lose a leg from all the sugar that I happen to love, which is weird. I don't really like sweet things that often, but I have my cravings every now and then. And um, this is one of my guilty pleasures. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> nice. Oh, is it, am I, am I gonna be a film star? He's huge. Oh, oh, oh. And get your shoes on, girl. Okay. I need love. I, I'm small, I'm small, I fit, I fit. Give me love, give me love. Did, wasn't there so, holy. All right, we're gonna go get we're gonna go get junk food. All right, <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, dog. No, you can't come. that campfire one because I didn't see that on the Grove Hub. Yeah, I'm gonna do a campfire again because that was um, really good. Can we get uh, two campfires? One classic? Yeah, we're getting our fat ass on. You know. You look like you've gotten more freckles I have. here. What do you think that's from? The sun? The sun? The sun? I don't know. You a sun worshiper? But on that note, I think uh, Steve and I are going to end the vlog for the day. Ah, from shopping, to lights, to having no lights. What a day. Steve, that really hurts. Bye now. Ow! Ow. Yeah, you lick and you be nice. Yeah, 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 yeah,